Well, there's my vehicle at Hayes Creek. So, I'm gonna walk up here and see what well, I found. I entered down there by Hayes Creek. Here's my first obvious railroad ties. Who knows what's under this underbrush, if anything. Uh, it's for the cleanup. More please. railroad ties. If you listen carefully, right over there, you can hear the, the water flowing in the Aquinta River. More railroad ties. So easy to walk. I did. I walked right by this oh, bunch. Mother load of railroad ties. Some here, and then there's some down there that I just took single photos of. But I think I see some more up here. If you had noticed, that's the Aquinta River right there. Proximity to railroad ties, not too different. Quinter River, right there. Railroad ties, right here. Need well, I say more? This is the bend from the straightaway, quarter of a mile down to Hayes Creek. See that big pile of railroad ties? There's the Aquinta River. Declining fish runs, say it all, you know. Boy, great fisheries management, forest management, Yes, sir. State of Oregon really does a lousy nice job. Nice shot. Gives you some perspective as to depth. Big pile of railroad ties. Can you hear the Aquinta River? Right over there. Well, here we are. The rail line on the Aquinta River. Rivers across the road and through those trees. And here we have some discarded Bridge ties, boy, these are nice. I could use these down on uh, my friend's place on Beaver Creek, but uh, they'd last a long time. But anyway, uh, creosote beams discarded onto the Yaquinta River Railroad drainage. And I'll walk back up the way I came. <laughs> I took a series of photographs of, of the discarded pilings. So I'll be clicking on and off just to save the uh, time I have, record time I have remaining on the camera. I'm gonna film, videotape, the ones I can see. There's creosote pilings there. Railroad ties, I should say. We go right up here and every, 20 feet, we've got another batch of railroad ties. Here's a batch right here. Who knows what's underneath the brush? Uh, I imagine there's ties I can't see, but here's right here. More railroad ties. Creosote soaked, I would hazard to say. Here's more. Right here, more railroad ties. We rock, walk right up here, and we have more railroad ties. Yes, sir. Green Oregon. Green's where the trees are, and the river's on the other side of the trees. The rains come, they wash the uh, sediment down into the uh, into the river downstream and into our clam beds. Uh, here's more railroad ties, nice pile of ties. And uh, as you'll see, we've got pile after pile of railroad ties. Here's another bunch right here. Nice bunch of railroad ties. They're old, they're rotten. You know, what do you expect? I've been talking about this for years and uh, nobody listens, you know? And when you read the warnings on arsenic contamination of our clams and our bays, oh my gosh, guess what uh, one of the primary culprits are? Creosotes from Re Old railroad ties, I mean, I, I really can't have enough contempt for this kind of stuff. 
No, sir, I sure don't. Here's more railroad ties. More railroad ties. More railroad ties. More railroad ties. Of course, we have all these railroad ties. Every time a train goes over the track, these ties move a little bit. And the mining action contributes uh, more, more contamination into the river. Now we've asked Oregon State University to, whichever ones the beavers are, to, uh, to do a study. More railroad ties. My goodness, more railroad ties. You know, more railroad ties. Anyway, we ask uh, the Beaver Nation to uh, to do a study on the effects of uh, uh, of the of contamination contributed by these tides, if any. You know, set. Bad practice, more railroad ties. Yes, I gotta tell you, the people that I've been dealing with, the ones I've asked, the, the so-called educated uh, Oregon State people, they are so contemptuous of, uh, of our environment. They go around singing a good song and beating a drum for, for donations to whatever cause they might be sponsoring. But they sure don't beat the drum for this. And uh, if it was me, and I was a Governor Brown, you know what? We've got the wrong Governor Brown. If I was Governor Brown, I would, uh, I'd be firing some people. I really would. You know? I mean, this is not uh, permissible. This is where I came up. Uh, there's more railroad ties down there, but... I'm an old man, and uh, you know, I just, my heart just can't take it. So, we'll go up the river here and see if we can There's find it. There's the railroad somewhere. right over there. There's the Aquinnah River. I'm on the bridge over the Aquinnah River. You go right up here, and there's where we just were on that part of the, uh, of the uh, railroad at uh, Jacob, Jacobson Road. Uh, you know, there's the, the railroad right there. Here's the Elk City Road. And, of course, over here, over there is the Aquinnah This is what I mean about not knowing where the railroad ties are. You get all this brush berries growing up, and you get all these railroad ties. This is where I went up. Well, I don't have to travel very far from the road to see railroad ties. Lots of beams, probably for good reason, or not good reason, sitting next to the railroad along the Aquinnah The part of the rail line that we filmed years ago, and we'll see what we can see if we have any railroad ties abandoned along the right-of-way well, here. You can see where I came from. And I don't recall exactly where they were, but here's a railroad tie and some other remnants of a tie. I don't know if there's more under these uh, berry vines or, or what, but we'll continue on down. Well, here we go. Here's some more. I think maybe the, the growth has just swallowed them up. The Quinta River is right over there. So, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out cause and effect. But to what effect, I don't know. That's why we asked the Oregon State to, uh, you know, the beavers to, uh, to do a study. Well, lo and behold, here we go. Here's a bunch of railroad ties right here. Yeah, all overgrown. I'm going to walk back. I, 
no sense in me walking any further down. Not near as many piles as located further down the river. We're up here right off of old Highway 20, so the ties are still here. It's just the growth There's one here. Good pile down there. I don't know if this is just a covered up larger pile. I seem to recall larger piles, but there's part of a railroad tie right there. Here's a creek, got water flowing through it. It goes down the Aquinnah River. So, avenue of means for pollution to contaminate the Aquinnah River. Nice little bundle of ties underneath the brush.